Good morning. Thank you all for being here. We are gathered here to celebrate the ending of one journey and the beginning of another. I would like to take a moment and pray with you. I pray you guide us always and strengthen us for the struggles we will face. Thank you for bringing us this far, and may we continue to live a life that reflects your goodness and grace. Amen. You may be seated. To our invited guests, visitors, parents, family supporters, and last but not least to the fall graduating class of 2019, good morning. I'm Dr. Kirk Nooks, and on behalf of the outstanding faculty, staff, and students of Gordon State College, I want to welcome you to this campus and to the fall 2019 commencement ceremony. We're delighted that you have designated the time to attend this event and to help us uh, truly celebrate the accomplishments of these soon-to-be graduates. You see, getting to this point in the journey required assistance along the way, and it also required a commitment to your family, to this college, and to this community. Put another way, it required the power of we. You see, although you're seated today, robed in your regalia, and poised to walk across the threshold, you did not accomplish this alone. Some assistance came in the form of faculty and staff. Long after you leave this campus, you uh, may forget how to work a particular, particular calculus problem or how to determine the coefficient of friction for a block of wood, but you will not forget the names of those who taught you how to think, how to learn, how to act, how to evaluate and synthesize data. You know the names like Schmoody, Rumfeld, Trailer. 
Higgins Harrell, Mayo, Bishop, Wright, Mahan, Pearson, Ferguson, Pollock, Burstein, and countless others. The names also extend outside the classroom for those who ensured you were safe, comfortable, and tutored. Names like Miss Jennifer and Miss Gladys, uh, Reggie, uh, Chief Mason, Alicia Dorton, Tanya Coleman, Peter Higgins, thank you for allowing all of us to be a part of your journey. Likewise, the commitment to your family resulted in you being here this morning. The commitment was not easy. You see, for some of you, it meant being away from home during this phase in your life. While many of you hail from uh, 13 of our 14 primary service area counties, others have come as far away as India. You may have initially had to live with someone that you did not know or did not like. Yet, because you made the commitment to your family, you ultimately worked through the ch challenges to focus on the good in others. Not only was the commitment to your family not easy, but during the journey, it may have not been as much fun. You see, whether you're, like, uh, whether you're 18 like today's youngest graduate or 59 like this morning's most seasoned graduate, you had to give up on going out or getting your subscription to Disney+. Plus. <laughs> you may have missed a milestone event for one of your loved ones, or you had to make a decision to pay your tuition instead of going on a vacation. But although it may not have been fun always, today you can look into the audience have your eyes meet with those of your supporters and know that it was worth it. So graduates, at this moment, please take an opportunity to salute your family members and supporters who are here with you today. The commitment to this college is also embodied in the countless hours you spent preparing for exams, searching for understanding, and forging a path for those who will follow. Whether you are one of the 52 first-generation college students or an adult learner like 34% of this graduating class, you are now committing to representing Highlander Nation as an accomplished scholar and graduate. Being a graduate means that you have altered the trajectory of your family for generations to come, and we are humbled that you chose Gordon to be a part of this legacy. The commitment to this community is of equal importance. 69% of your class will be graduating with an associate's degree, and 31% will be walking across the threshold to accept the baccalaureate. At the end of this morning's ceremony, we will have provided a cohort of talented citizens to serve as nurses, teachers, managers, historians, social workers, and information technologists. And with additional studies, you can go on to becoming doctors and lawyers, mayors and county managers, engineers and researchers. In short, we see you becoming difference makers. With this in mind, I would like to acknowledge a few special guests from the community who are here with us today. The Honorable Peter Banks, Mayor of Barnesville. The Honorable Eric Wilson, Mayor of Forsyth. These gentlemen represent just a portion of the civic leadership of our 14 county primary service region. Individuals like them could be your future employer or one day may become your predecessor. In either case, do not forget to be engaged with your community. In addition, we also have members of the Gordon State College Foundation. In our current chair, we have Ms. Lucinda Dallas. <laughs> Mr. Andy Bush. Jim Granham, Philip Bell, Don Nooner, Dan White, and we also have an emeritus member, Walter Geiger, in the audience. And these individuals represent those who provide and steward the philanthropic resources which result in scholarships for our students. It is my honor this morning to introduce our speaker, Dr. Bell Whelan. Dr. Whelan currently serves as the president of the Southern Association for Colleges and Schools, the Commission on Colleges. In other words, she is the president and CEO of the organization that ensures Gordon State College is accredited to hand out these degrees today. Dr. Whelan is a woman with many accomplishments. Within the higher education world, she has served as faculty member, chief student services officer, campus provost, college president, 
and Secretary of Education for the Commonwealth of Virginia. Now she can also add that she has been the Gordon State College commencement speaker for the graduating class of fall 20, 2019. But it does not stop there. Our guest speaker today has been featured and honored in the Washington Magazine's 100 Most Powerful Women in Washington, D.C. She also earned the AAUW Woman of Distinction Award and the John Roosh National Institute for Staff and Organizational Development's International Leadership Award, along with the John Hope Franklin Award from Diverse Issues in Higher Education for Outstanding Leadership in Education. In addition to the aforementioned accomplishments, she has also received numerous awards and recognitions, including six honorary degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege and an honor to have Dr. Whelan speak today. Even as a young graduate student, I don't know if she remembers, I met her a long, long time ago. And I heard of her, she came to speak at George Washington University when I was there, and I happened to be the one to escort her uh, outside when her talk was over. And I remember she asked me, what can I do to help you? And at that time, I didn't know what I needed to help, but she was the one who turned me on to institutions just like this with a broad access mission and said, if I wanted to make a difference in the lives of young people, this is where I needed to be. So it's weird how life comes full circle now, and she's here at this ceremony to be our commencement speaker today. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Bell Whelan. Thank you, Mr. President, to you and the First Lady, honored guests, members of the audience, but distinguished faculty and staff, current students, past students, anybody I omitted, it's an omission of the head and not the heart. But most importantly, class of 2019, what's up? <laughs> As you've heard, I'm head of a quality assurance organization, and so they've invited me to give you your final exam. <laughs> this is actually a test to see how well the faculty did, but we won't tell them. Would you do me a favor and sit up toward the front of your seats and clear your hands of anything that you're holding? If you can't pass this test, don't bother to walk across the stage. <laughs> I'm gonna count to three, and on the count of three, I want you to stand up Throw your hands in the air, and as loudly as you can, shout the word hallelujah. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Hallelujah! Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Y'all done good. Now, five minutes, five years, 50 years from now, you won't remember who I am or what I had to say, but you will remember I had you sitting on the edge of your seat shouting hallelujah. Whether you are graduating summa cum laude, magna cum laude, cum laude, or thank you loud, we are <laughs> proud of each and every one of you today because you've overcome a lot of obstacles to get here. Uh, and I know that whether you're a first generation or fifth generation, it was not easy. Some of you wondered whether this day would ever arrive. Well, it is here now and we're gonna celebrate you, let me tell you. Um, you know, little did you know when you arrived here that you were going to be uh, challenged with so many courses that you had no idea what they were, why you had to take them. I have a son who, when he was in high school, wanted to know why he had to take Algebra two because he was never going to use those formulas again. And I helped to, had to explain to him that you may not, but you will use the skills that you had to learn how to solve for unknowns. And he says, why didn't they tell me that? And then I would have paid better attention. So while you may not have paid you know, attention to what you were doing, I promise you that each and every course that you took will provide some insight into life as you progress through it. And there will be days when you'll look back and go, oh, that's what Professor so-and-so was trying to teach me. Uh, hopefully it won't take forever for you to learn some of those. What I want to do today is to share with you five simple lessons that I've learned. You've heard that I'm an old lady who's had lots of jobs, so they think I have some words of wisdom to share with you. We'll see. But just five. No more. I could spend a lifetime here, but I won't. Lesson one comes from a book that was written by a gentleman named H. Jackson Brown, Jr. that was entitled Life's Little Instruction Book. 
And it was a two volume set of one liners that he and his wife put together when his son was, trying, was about to go to college. And my favorite one out of that was the one that says, be as kind to the janitor as you are the chairman of the board because everyone in an organization has a role to play, and no one's role is any more important than anybody else's. And you have to respect the position that each and every person holds, because if one person doesn't do their job, then the entire organization it may indeed fall apart. Lesson two is a reminder that learning is a lifelong phenomenon. I know that those of you, especially who are graduating with your bachelor's today, th say, thank God, no more tests, no more papers. I got news for you. When you go to work, you're going to have tests and papers. So this is not over. It is a lifelong phenomenon. And the greatest thing about education is that there's no age limit. Uh, as a matter of fact, there are people out in the lobby, for those of you who may want to come in the spring, they've got enrollment information out there for you. So don't think that uh, you, you can't finish from Gordon State as well. Uh, in that same vein, I want you to also remember that no question is too stupid to ask. Now, now that you have a college degree, people may look at you a little funny when you ask some of those questions because they think you're supposed to know. But I assure you that no question is too stupid to ask. Classic example was I taught child psychology for 10 years, and one day we were talking about the advantages of breastfeeding baby and, uh, babies and how the um, antibodies pass from mother to baby and how you learn to bond because we haven't found a way to detach a breast yet, although this class may do that, I don't know. But I had a young woman ask me if black women had chocolate milk in their breasts. <laughs> True story. Faculty know you live for those kinds of things because you know, that's why you keep going every day. So part of the class fell out hysterically laughing. They could not believe that this woman had asked this question. Another part of the class sat there in disbelief, like, no, she didn't ask that. But there were students there that you could see were trying to figure out the possibility <laughs> of chocolate milk. So after the laughter died down, I assured them that there were no flavoring packets in black women's breasts at all. All breast milk was the same. But in that same vein, I, I also told the class that they should thank her for asking that question because it gave them a chance to laugh and prevent an ulcer because your body cannot grow an ulcer and laugh at the same time. Now, I want you to remember that when you're trying to get out of the parking lot today and people won't let you out. I want you to laugh instead of cussing them out for not putting on a blinker or whatever, because you will help both your mental and your physical well-being if you do that. I think if we learn to laugh more and get angry less, this would be a much better place to live, I assure you. Lesson three is to give back. Most of you are probably like I was when I graduated from college. I had no money, but I had lots of time. And over the years, I grew to understand that time is much more valuable than money. You don't understand that now, but you will grow to understand that. And so I started volunteering. I'd go to elementary schools and read to children so that they could understand it was important to read, or I'd go to nursing homes and visit what I thought was old folks, and they're my age now. It's quite interesting. Uh, to let them know that they were not forgotten, and I'd buy Girl Scout cookies and, and Boy Sc uh, Cub Scout popcorn as I got older and got more money. <clears throat> and ultimately, I was able to give money back to the foundation of the college I attended because I realized that I was able to go to school because someone was generous enough to pay back, uh, you know, and so I it also began to pay back. And I encourage you to do that same thing as you move, important, move through. It is important to give back, but more than anything, it feels good to give back, to know that you've made a difference in someone's life. Sometimes just stopping to talk to someone makes the difference in them committing suicide that day or feeling like maybe they there is a reason to live, so do that, please. Lesson four is looking good is as important as making a, to making a lasting impression as being knowledgeable. Now, I rem, I'm old enough to remember when the fashion industry had a section of clothing for work, one for play, and one for going out on the weekends. They don't do that anymore. So they leave it up to you all to figure out what's appropriate to wear when. And some of you are in trouble. <laughs> <clears throat> I, 
I share that because when you get ready to go for a job interview, you're probably going to uh, interview with an old fart like me who remembers those differences. Whatever you do as you're dressing, I need you to remember that the only part of your body that begins with a B in which they're interested is your brain. Not your butt, not your boobs, but your brain. Okay? And dress appropriately because first impressions are lasting impressions. And if you don't look good walking in the door, they're not going to hear a thing you say. And all the smarts that you gained here at Gordon State won't matter diddly because you didn't look good when you walked in the door. The final lesson is from my own life. I grew up in uh, the South in the 60s when uh, things were a little uncomfortable for those of us who had permanent suntans. And I went from an all-black elementary school to a, a predominantly white uh, Catholic high school. And I had an eighth grade teacher who was old as the hill. She was my age now, I know. And she was trying to prepare us for going uh, you know, into this new environment. And she told us two things that still stay with me. The first thing in 1964 she told us was that black people were obviously the most important people in the world, otherwise white folks wouldn't be making such a big deal over us. And in the 70s, it was the same thing about women. In the 80s, it was people with physical disabilities. It seems like every decade, we find a different group of people that we have to feel uh, superior, to whom we have to feel superior. And she says, don't let that get you down. You stand up and say, you know, I must be quite worthy or they wouldn't be putting up all these roadblocks. And you let them slow you down, perhaps, but you don't let them stop you. As Gordon State graduates, you have every right in the world to stay, stand up and say, I am going to achieve my goal. I have struggled too hard to get here, and I'm not going to let you, for whatever reason you feel I should not be successful, get in the way of me meeting my goals. The second thing she said was that it didn't matter what color our skin was because we were all Americans, and American ended in those letters, I C-A-N, I can, and you have truly proven that you can overcome major obstacles, or we wouldn't be here celebrating you today. I congratulate each and every one of you on the job well done to get here today. I caution you that this is not the end of the journey, but the beginning. That's why we call it a commencement. I wish you every joy and every happiness that you deserve, plus a bag of chips, as the kids would say. And thank you for letting me be a part of your ceremony. Thank you, Dr. Whelan. It is a tradition here at Gordon State College that at each graduation, a graduating Highlander is asked to speak on behalf of his or her class. This year's speaker is Ms. Lisa Amos. Ms. Amos of Locust Grove, Georgia is graduating today with a Bachelor of Science in Biology. While at Gordon, she has served as a resident assistant and is the Vice President of the Student Government Association. Her future goal is to work in a medical lab. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Lisa Amos. Good morning, faculty, staff, family, friends, and of course, the graduating class of 2019. It is an honor to be here today as your student speaker. When I was provided the opportunity to speak at this year's commencement ceremony, I began to reflect on the years I have spent here at Gordon State College, as well as the things I was able to accomplish. I worked so hard to be here today, as I'm sure all of you have as well. It was not easy, and there may have been times when we thought we would not be able to make it to this day. Graduates, I would like for you to close your eyes for a moment, please and think about those countless long nights, many early mornings, or even those 10-page papers we never thought we would finish. You may open your eyes. Those struggles have only made this moment much sweeter, and here we are, ready to embark on a journey that is so fulfilling and worth it all. I am thankful I have professors and advisors to support me over the years. I would like to extend thanks to Dr. Amanda Duffus, 
for her support and always having my best interest in mind. I recall going to Dr. Duffus distraught, unsure if my decisions were aligned with my goals or that I would soon see the end. Dr. Duffus assured me I was going to make it through. To her, they were simply words of encouragement, but to me, it was much needed motivation. In addition, I appreciate Dr. Kathy Lee for being a listening ear. I often go to her exasperated, as it was sometimes difficult maintaining a job in a leadership role while taking full-time credit hours. Add having second thoughts on pursuing a degree in biology out of fear that I just could not do it. Receiving guidance from her helped me realize that you could only take things a step at a time. I also thought about if things had gone as planned, I would not be standing here before you all today. Instead, I would have graduated from the institution I thought was the school of my dreams. However, little did I know at that time what Gordon State College had in store for me. If things had gone as planned, I'm not sure if I would have obtained the knowledge, skills, and achievements that I received as a Highlander. Here at Highlander Nation, I started out as a resident assistant my sophomore year. Working with Residence Life provided me a leadership role on campus and helped me grow personally and professionally. While there were, while there were challenges associated with being a resident assistant, the accomplishment of getting through those obstacles and making a difference in someone else's life, I found it all rewarding. I would like to thank Dr. Tanya Coleman and Ms. Gratasha Banks for teaching me what it means to be a leader and that the importance of being a professional is having good worth ethics, being a hard worker, and being dedicated. The skills I obtained and enhanced as a resident assistant made it easy for me to adapt into my role as the vice president of SGA. I cannot say the school I thought was best for me would have offered me the same opportunities that Gordon State College has provided me. However, I can say being here was the most beautiful, fulfilling route that I could have ever imagined. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But by all means, keep moving. Graduates, there will be times when life will take a detour from a path you set out to take. Just know that although that route may be long and far more treacherous than you have planned, be optimistic along the way. Value each obstacle knowing that that path is leading you to a greater place. What I want us all to walk away with today is that we sometimes make plans that may not provide us the skills we need to become who we are destined to be. It is my hope that we all take what we have attained from Gordon State College to flourish and show the world what Highlanders are made of. Congratulations to Gordon State College, class of 2019. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Graduates, you may replace your caps. Many institutions recognize students who achieve particularly high academic records with the traditional Latin distinctions of cum laude, which means with praise or honor, magna cum laude, which means with great praise or honor, and summa cum laude, which means with highest praise or honor. At Gordon State College, we recognize students who have achieved at least the 3.50 overall grade point average, which is comprised of all work completed at the collegiate level, both here and at any previous institutions. Using this overall grade point average, we recognize students with these three levels of distinction. Students who have earned a GPA of 3.90 or higher or recognized in our program with the summa cum laude distinction. Will the candidates who have earned the distinction of summa cum laude please rise to be recognized. You may be seated. <laughs> Students who have earned a GPA between 3.80 and 3.89 are recognized with the magna cum laude distinction. Will the candidates who have earned the distinction of magna cum laude please rise to be recognized.
You may be seated. Students who have earned a GPA between 3.50 and 3.79 are recognized with the cum laude distinction. Will the candidates who have earned the, the honor of cum laude please rise to be recognized? Our graduates have achieved numerous additional honors, including membership in the Gordon State College Honors Program, college-wide or disciplinary honor societies, and veteran distinctions. These additional honors are described in the program and are designated by insignia worn by the graduates. Will all graduates with any of these additional honors please rise to be recognized? Thank you, you may be seated. Now we will present the candidates for graduation. I will start with the candidates who will be receiving the bachelor's degree. Candidates, when I call your specific degree and program of study, please rise and remain standing. Will those candidates seeking the Bachelor of Arts in English please rise? The Bachelors of Arts in History, please rise. The Bachelor of Science in Biology, please rise. The Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education and Special Education, please rise. The Bachelor of Science in Health Information Management, please rise. The Bachelor of Science in Human Services, please rise. The Bachelor of Science in Management and Administration, please rise. The Bachelor of Science in Middle Grades Education, please rise. And the Bachelor of Science in Nursing, please rise. <laughs> President Nooks, I am honored to present the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts in English, the Bachelor of Arts in History, the Bachelor of Science in Biology, the Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education, Special Education, the Bachelor of Science in Health Information Management, the Bachelor of Science in Human Services, the Bachelor of Science in Management and Administration, the Bachelor of Science in Middle Grade Education, and the Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Based on the hard work of these candidates, they have completed all requirements for the aforementioned degree. Thereupon, recommendation of the faculty, and in my role as provost, I present these candidates to you for the conferring of their degrees. by the authority vested in the regents of the University System of Georgia, which is bestowed to the chancellor and delegated to me as president of Gordon State College, and upon the recommendation of the faculty and provost, I hereby confer upon each of you the degrees appropriate to your area with all the powers, responsibilities, honors, and privileges thereunto appertaining the 16th day of December, 2019. Graduates, you may now move the tassel to the left side of your cap. You may be seated. Now we will present the candidates for the associate degree. Candidates, when I call your specific degree and program of study, please rise and remain standing. Will those candidates seeking the Associate of Arts in Foreign Language please rise? 
the Associate of Arts in Mass Communication, please rise. The Associate of Arts in Psychology, please rise. The Associate of Arts in Sociology, please rise. The Associate of Arts in Theater, please rise. The Associate of Arts in Visual Arts, please rise. The Associate of Arts General, please rise. The Associate of Science and Business Administration, please rise. The Associate of Science and Chemistry, please rise. The Associate of Science and Computer Science, please rise. The Associate of Science and Criminal Justice, please rise. The Associate of Science and Engineering, please rise. The Associate of Science and Information Technology, please rise. The Associate of Science General, please rise. And the Associate of Science in Nursing, please rise. President Nooks, I am honored to present the candidates for the various Associate of Arts degrees, the various Associate of Science degrees, and the Associate of Science in Nursing degree. Based on the hard work of these candidates, they have completed all requirements for the aforementioned degrees. Therefore, upon recommendation of the faculty and in my role as provost, I present these candidates to you for the conferring of their degrees. <laughs> By the authority vested in the regents of the University System of Georgia, which is bestowed to the chancellor and delegated to me as president of Gordon State College, and upon the recommendation of the faculty and provost, I hereby confer upon each of you the degrees appropriate to your area with all the powers, responsibilities, honors, and privileges thereunto appertaining this 16th day of December, 2019. Graduates, you may now move your tassel to the left side of your cap. You may be seated. The president, the president will now be presenting our graduates with their degrees. The president will be assisted by the dean of the school in which the degrees were earned. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Arts in English degree. Shalicia Katara Jones. Kimberly Marie Sowell. Carawene Husaka Souza DeMello. <laughs> the following students are receiving the Bachelor of Arts in History degree. Nicholas Fitzgerald Higgs. Edward James Myers. Edward James Myers.
The following students the following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Human Services degree. Kevin Giuliani de la Espada. Okay. I, I'm trying to, I know. Tanya Elizabeth Escobar. John Alfred Ball the Fourth, Patty Lynn Copeland, Mary Caitlin Rintz, Hunter Tristan Jones, Joshua Felton Jenkins. Marky Nicole Goodwin, Godwin. Marisa Emily Eller. Albert Earl Lassiter, Jr. <laughs> Quanisha Andrea Taylor. Amanda Christina Lott. <laughs> Amber Denise Cloud. Aria Jonice Davis. Sarah Elizabeth Smallwood. Jessica Jamie Morrison. Felicia Quinette Stanford Ellis. Kalia Robinson. Tomisha Lashawn Cross. Cross. Brittany Renee Sawini. Alexis Dier Smith. Robert Allen Lazenby. Danielle Nicole Hector. Kalisha Deshay Favors. Alexis Shanique Levy. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Management and Administration degree. Melissa Janice Kendrick. Catherine Nicole Klein. Ray Antonio Kyler. Austin Bailey Abrahamson. You don't want the middle? Jalil Holder. <laughs> William Cole Ring. <laughs> Natalie Fair Mathis. Matthew Thomas McGregor, cum laude, honors program graduate. Poo Wan Sirisak. Tadeja Simone White. Hannah Nicole Wilder. Samantha Ann Marie Johnson, Jackson. Destin Michael Prejean. 
The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Middle Grades Education degree. Kristen Rosalie Raxdale, <laughs> cum laude. <laughs> Kayla Rivers Thompson. <laughs> Austin Scott Hester. <laughs> the following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Biology degree. Ariana Tacole Crawford. Lisa Carita Amos. Puving Sisak. Aureli Valero Salazar. Amanda Danielle Milam. Magnum Cum Laude. Brianna Starr Johnson. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of, Health, of Science in Health Information Management degree. Shalise Jaquay Jefferson, cum laude. Jasmine Janae Marshall. Tashana Malik Mitchell. Sharona Jalen Milner. Yeah. Michaela Brooke Howard. Yeah. Queenie and Alexandrin Lewis. Yeah, Sharina Latasha Benbow. Benbow. Sandy Marie West Cum Laude. Sh Shivani Su Surish Patel. Elizabeth Ann Smith. Mark A. Thacker. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. Alexia Sierra Jones. The following student is receiving the Associate of Arts in Foreign Language degree. Shayla Elizabeth Baggett, summa cum laude. The following students are receiving the Associate of Arts in Mass Communications degree, Benjamin Hyatt. The following students are receiving the Associate of Arts in Psychology degree, Megan Danielle Butler, summa cum laude. Megan Danielle Minter, Honors Program graduate. Never drop the mic. I dropped the mic. <laughs> Gabrielle Lorreen Smith, cum laude. Zach Blake Brookhart. Angela Gail Littleton. Genesis Araceli Onade Regalado. Sadika Mamadeli Momin. Malik Olajuan Moore. Giselle. Tierra Giselle Potter. The following students are receiving the Associate of Arts in Sociology degree. Alicia Marie Knight. LaKayla Ariel Daphne Sneed. 
Alvin Denard Stevens. The following students are receiving the Associate of Arts in Visual Arts degree. Demi Ray Kiker, summa cum laude. Taylor Ray Brown. Amy Lee Bros, cum laude. Alexis Trené Strickland. The following students are receiving the Associate of Arts degree. Natalie Karen Neal, summa cum laude, honors program graduate. Lawrence James Bryant. <laughs> Elizabeth Darlene Clinton. <laughs> Wanda Shiver Grant. Ashley Aaron Travis, summa cum laude. Magdalene. Magdalene Ann Strickland, summa cum laude. Callie Elizabeth Marie Wilson. Rihanna. Kaylee Rihanna Bledsoe. Leslie Marie Daniels. Tyra Oriel Calloway. <laughs> Bailey Marie Brown. Chiquita Leanne Bell. Wakewell Trout. Wakewell India Trout. No leap. Brianna Nolia Freeman. Shanquanita Marie Dukes. <laughs> Ashley Walker Vereen. <laughs> the following students are receiving the Associate of Science and Business Administration degree. Katie Lee Alverson. Samantha Ann Hambrick. Ashley Patillo Nixon. Jada Manet Johnson. Brianna. Brianna Nicole McNear. Willie Rizok Tiller the third. Sean Harvey Edwards Jr. Janae Michelle Brooks. Desiree Lene Martin. Xavier L. Hooks. Brianna Lanice Zarnik. Naisha Matrice Lyons. The following students are receiving the Associate of Science in Chemistry degree. Rebecca Danielle Stone. Madison Brooke Mingeldorf, cum laude. Spencer Matthew Snavely. Morena. Morena Rodriguez. Andrew Jacob Brown. Devin Brandon Bullock. Yeah. 
David Michael Pereira. Iris Alexandria Williams. Catherine Leanne Keys. The following students are receiving the Associate of Science in Engineering degree. Evelyn M. Wood, summa cum laude. Christopher Tyler Smith. The following students are receiving the Associate of Science degree. Nicole Louise Beeman. Winifred Lori Paul. Sierra. Sierra Ray Bowen. Cardenas, Cardenas. Janelle Lee Cardenas. Brianna Nicole Holder. Justlexia C. Daniels. Is it Verticia? Sherelle Verticia Howell. DeAndre R. Reeves. Noel Porter Stringer. Valexis Olivia Carey. Kayaja Brene Collier. Sydney Danielle Caldwell. Sadika Momidali Momin. Trevion Isaiah Harris. Omisha Kiera Hall. Ifioma Sydney Limehouse. Frankie Lee Coates. John Neil Massey. Darren Christopher Walker II. The following students are receiving the Associate of Science in Nursing degree. Destiny Marie Durden, magna cum laude. Amanda Riley McCravey, cum laude. Kaylee Brooke Kitchens, cum laude. Madison Brienne Grant. Courtney Leigh Delishaw. Amber Rose Bishop. Rachel Nicole Tilly. Austin Brent Kyle. Andrea Damiani. Kiwana B Bianca Foster. DeCarla Lee Gothi. Karee Renee Dempsey. Jennifer Lynn Behrens. Carrie Nicole Anderson. Savannah Grace Burnett. Jennifer Merck Nelson. Rebecca Johnson Upshaw. Jovi Leilani Ivester. Stacia K. Walker. Tequila Octavia Spivey. Skylar Simone May. 
Alatizia Latrez Allen. Erica Aqui. Nicole Marie Brooks. Abele. Abele Esther Okeke. Megan Elizabeth Joyner. Brianna Caitlin Kuntz. Janelle Rose Brown. Jessica Renee Murphy. Bailey Kristen Castellana. Alexandria Rose Wright. Abigail Rose McDougall. Joanna? Catherine Joanna Huckabee. Kara Jade Harrell. Michaela Joy Richardson. Braley Nicole Davis. Taylor Brooke Lott. Mary Mackenzie Martin. Brittany Jackson. Christy Fulton. Amanda Arnold Akins. Kelly Jernigan. Hillary O'Hara Owens. Chandler Alston Smith. As I saw the faces coming through the line, I recognized a few that were um, Highlanders, not only as students, but as full-time uh, staff members at this institution. I'm going to ask our full-time staff members who are graduating today to please stand to your feet. We just want to salute you, <laughs> Hannah, Wanda, Ashley. Thank you so much for your time and dedication on a regular work week and also taking classes. We just want to salute you. Thank you for that. So we're almost at the point in the program where we either say goodbye to you or see you later for those who will continue to pursue the baccalaureate with us. But I would like to personally say that we are proud of each of you. You not only represent the values of this institution, but you also made progress with honing your Highlander edge. You see, as an engaged innovator, you will continue to think of new ways to enhance your community and this institution. Like one of our graduates who reached out to me on Twitter and recommended that we switch to the larger size diplomas you receive today. As a dedicated scholar, you will continue to develop yourself, not accepting just good enough. And you will strive for excellence like the Lamar County Teacher of the Year, Rondricus Fletcher, who is an alum. As a gifted communicator, you will be able to deliver that 30-second elevator speech to those who wonder who are you and what does the future hold for you. As an ethical leader, you will be able to provide steadfast guidance during complex and challenging times, being consistent whether someone is watching or not. From this point on, this is your calling as a graduate of Highlander Nation. So, this is the moment that we've all been waiting for. Graduates, will you please rise?
And one more time for old time's sake. You can put things down. We're going to do a Highlanders forward to send you out. For those who are wondering, Highlanders 4 is our call to action. We put our hands together like we're getting ready to clap. We pull them apart. We drop them down to make the Highlander H. We bend at the elbows. Remember, at the elbows, not the University of Miami, OK? <laughs> at the elbows, OK? And when I say Highlanders, you say forward. So get them up. Get them up for one last time. Highlanders 4. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating for the first time the fall graduates of 2019. Today, I will be introducing Mrs. Katherine Claston Green. In 2012, she graduated from Gordon State College, where she earned a bachelor's degree in science and education. After teaching school in Spalding County, she began work at Southern Reverse Energy, where she currently serves as the, as the communication specialist. Katherine is responsible for the internal and external communications, coordinating youth and community outreach programs, as well as the country contributing to public relations and marketing efforts for the electric cooperative. In addition to her role at Southern Rivers Energy, she is a student at West Virginia University, earning a master's degree in integrated marketing communications, and currently serving as the chair of Gordon's Alumni Association. Please join me in welcoming Mrs. Katherine Claston Green. Good morning, everyone, and congratulations, graduates. What an honor it is for me to be here celebrating Gordon's graduating class of 2019. Today is about you and what you've achieved through hard work, determination, and moments of creative inspiration. All of those late night cram sessions, expensive textbooks, early morning classes, and hikes up the dreaded Gordon Hill all led you to this moment. Dr. Nooks's words, Highlanders Ford, does not end at graduation. You are Highlanders today and always. As a 2010 alumni and chair of Gordon's Alumni Association, I want to emphasize the responsi responsibilities that you now have as Gordon graduates to give back and to stay involved. Keep pushing Highlanders and Gordon State College forward for the generations to come. Congratulations, class of 2019, and welcome to the alumni family. Please rise and remove your caps for the alma mater and remain standing for the benediction. You will find the words for the alma mater on the second page of your program.
Good morning. I'm going to begin with a quote from former Florida Gators quarterback Tim Tebow. <laughs> Success comes in a lot of ways, but it doesn't come with money and it doesn't come with fame. It comes from having a meaning in your life, doing what you love, and being passionate about what you do. That's having a life of success. When you have the ability to do what you love, love what you do, and have the ability to impact people, that's having a life of success. That's what having a life of meaning is. Today, as we open the next chapter of our books of life, I'll challenge each and every one of you to find your purpose, to find your meaning, and to be passionate about everything that you do. Don't just go through the motions of your job and just show up for the paycheck. Do something that you have a passion for and embrace what it means to have a purpose in everything that you do. Don't let your idea of success be money because that never lasts. Let your idea of success be to have an impact on someone that will carry on with you for the rest of your life. You have been given the tools over the last two to four years. Now go build something. Congratulations, class of 2019. We did it. Guests, please remain at your seats until all the graduates have exited the ceremony site, which signals the end of the ceremony. You may join your graduates in the student center immediately after the graduation. Graduates, you may replace your caps. <laughs> 